Are you experiencing issues booting into Windows after installing Linux? Then you are at the right place as here is how to fix the issue. Let's get started. This is the Windows Club. Many users prefer running a Linux distro such as Linux Mint alongside Windows. It offers the flexibility of both operating systems in a single computer. However, if the installation doesn't go well, issues such as being unable to boot into Windows after installing Linux are quite common. As a result, Windows will not boot up and this typically occurs due to boot loader conflicts, UEFI or legacy mode mismatches, or partition table issues. However, here are some steps that will help you fix the issue. Let's get started. Method 1. Preliminary Checks Open the Linux terminal by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T. In the terminal, run the following command to check if the Windows partition still exists. sudo fdisk-1 if you spot any NTFS partitions, then it means Windows is installed. Next, check your system's boot mode by running the following command in the terminal. Legacy. Lastly, review your BIOS settings and ensure that the boot order prioritizes where Windows is installed. Method 2. Update Grub. Update Grub and you will force it to rescan for the Windows installation. In the Linux terminal, run this command to update Grub. Method 3 Use Boot Repair Boot Repair is a specialized Linux utility designed to automatically diagnose and fix common bootloader issues. Run these commands in the Linux terminal. Method 4. Adjust UEFI settings. Reboot your computer and enter BIOS mode. The process of entering into BIOS varies from motherboard to motherboard. Look at the boot order or boot priority section. Ensure Windows Boot Manager and the Linux boot entry often labeled as Ubuntu or Linux Mint are both listed. Adjust the boot priority so Grab or Windows appears first based on your preference. Navigate to the Security tab and disable Secure Boot temporarily. Save changes and exit, and see if you can boot into Windows or not. The issue mostly occurs due to bootloader misconfigurations or UEFI or legacy mismatches. By updating Grub, running boot repair and checking UEFI settings, you can usually restore a proper dual boot setup without losing any data. However, if the problem persists, consider reinstalling Linux Mint with the proper UEFI settings. So that's it. Subscribe to the Windows Club for all your tech solutions related to Windows. Thanks for watching.